Hello again, a new day, a new project, a new fix, hopefully. We have this in-ear system. This is coming from ProDipe and it's called IEM7120. It's a professional in-ear sound equipment. What is doing? We have the emitter here. So it's just coming with the audio input over there behind. Let me show you. And this one, it's sending to the receiver an audio signal, a stereo audio signal. Well, uh, what can I say? It's like 80 meters range. The frequency is between 625 to 688 megahertz. Look there. And there are some other things, you know, we don't really care about. I don't really know if this one is uh, digital or uh, it's analog transmission. Anyway, that's another story I don't want to talk about. The point is that it's working intermittently. What's happening? I'm not sure. We have a radio frequency link here. This is the signal. So it's receiving from the transmitter. Display on, please. So we should have a signal to the phones out. And it's looking like this one, it's going in and out. Maybe it's a problem with the antenna because the antenna is missing. We have to improvise an antenna too. What else to do? Let's have a test. Let's see how this thing is working. Now I'm running a kind of audio pattern from my digital piano there. So we should hear the signal in my Sony headphones and we should be able to hear the sound very nice and clear. So now I'm going to connect my camera line in to this headphones output to see what is happening. Because I suspect a problem with the phones here. Now I'm taking out the microphones and have the line in. Well, uh, it feels very clear that it's something wrong with the output, with this uh, connector here. So what I have to do now is to dismantle it and check for connection. Let me see how can I dismantle this. Okay, so let me have this out first. This is for having the receiver on the belt. Two screws here, two screws there. Battery is out. It's looking like Philips screws, yeah. Pretty rusty. Hmm. Okay, very simple. There we are. And here is the headphone output. I can see some strange wires going there. What is this about? No, it's just flux. Yes, so I can dismantle this and take a look, a proper look to the headphone connector. Nothing wrong here. But let me try to reflow it re with some new flux and soldering. Okay. We are pretty done here. Let me have a check. This one goes back here. It's a pretty interesting two boards with a connector in the middle. Yeah, that's the right position here. Batteries, please. But 
Okay, now the power is on. We have signal and let me check with the headphones. No way, it's working perfect. No more interruptions. So that was the story. To be sure, let me have some my kind of soldiering. And this is a little bit, uh, how can I say, almost low melt soldier. So uh, it have some extra plum. Okay, okay. And this is so much better. Well, I think the problem is solved. I have something else to do. Let me check again. Power on. Yes, this need. Okay. This need to be clean too. I'll do it at the end of the... Oh man, this is a lot of rust there. My God. Unbelievable. Look here. Rust. Totally rusting. I can't believe it. And, of course, contact spray, it's always a good idea. And in here too, contact spray never hurts, perfect. Well, now I have to do something about the antenna. So I believe a simple piece of wire will be more than enough. Absolutely yes. But, let me see if I can take this out, first of all. And because this one is sending on 760 kilohertz, we have to, to do some kind of mathematics to see how long the antenna will be. We have to deal with the frequency and the length of the antenna. You see, I found this uh, antenna calculator online so all we have to do now is to introduce the right frequency we have 760.5 megahertz okay let's have this 760.5 megahertz okay so let's say we have the shortest one it's 3.69 this value here we have to transform it in centimeters Okay, so we got a value of 9.3784 centimeters. That's how long the wire it will be, 10 centimeters. Okay, let me find the proper piece of uh, wire. Maybe I can use this. Of course I can. I can see clearly. Oh no, 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 I can't. Well, let me improvise something anyway. The original was nothing special, it was just a piece of wire, so it's nothing special. So I can use any kind of wire as long as I keep the dimension right. And that's 10 centimeters, 9.3 centimeters. Okay, so it's looking like the path is very clear. So all I need now is a piece of nice wire. Okay, let me see. Well, this is pretty flexible, so I can use that without a problem. Now we have to measure this antenna to the right length. I don't have the batteries here anymore, so it have to 9.37. So it's 9.3 and this. Well, something like this. So if I'm going like that, okay, it's so perfect. It's so nice and perfect. I got this here. So we can include this piece which will be soldered to the board. There we go. Nice and beautiful. Now I have to plant this back to the place. Hopefully I can. There we go. Looking good. Now I have to solder this back in place flux so this is not just a simple piece of wire to have a proper reception 
this needs to be to a certain length. Let me have a little bit of contact spray here too. So that needs a certain length. It's very important. Okay. The screen needs to go back in place. Yes. And I believe we are good to go. This goes back like this. That's the antenna. Let me see, this one is clean, super clean. Okay, let me have a last test before anything. We got power and we got signal and... Perfect. Perfect. New antenna in place. So I consider this uh, a fix, a good repair, and uh, hopefully it's useful. So that's it. Thank you so much. See you soon with some other projects. Wish you well, be safe, and don't forget to have fun. Bye bye.